I don't know whether to call him a top prospect or a contender right now as he's currently ranked number six for the WBA, but Gary Antoine Russell is certainly a rising star. As we watch highlights of the touch-up Russell put on Boots, Ennis, and the amateurs, let me tell you, this breakdown was long overdue. I was trying to wait for good film of a fight where Russell had to respect his opponent and show different wrinkles so we could see more of his skill set, but shit. By the looks of it, that might not happen until he reaches the championship level, so here we go. He's the youngest of the Gary Russell brothers, and at 14-0 with 14 knockouts, the 5-foot-8-inch Southpaw Junior Welterweight has been running through all his opponents. Offensively, the relentless pressure, the hot pivots, power in both hands, footwork, and athleticism remind me of the late, great Aaron Pryor. Now, I don't mean to disrespect the Hawk, who was a boxing legend, with comparisons to a prospect, but stylistically and ability-wise so far, in some aspects, you can see the resemblance. Gary Antoine Russell is a pressure fighter who is very physical on the inside, but he isn't just throwing his weight around winging punches like other inside fighters and brawlers. Using frames and control allows him to intelligently set up his balanced and powerful inside punches while at the same time remain defensively responsible. Being a pressure fighter doesn't work without good footwork and the ability to cut off the ring on your opponents. Gary keeps the pressure on by being able to strike while moving, using forward and reverse shuffles, hop pivots, and physicality keeping the opponent on the ropes and punishing. Gary can fight from the outside in that range as well. He has a good understanding of lead hand play or jab jousting and lead foot dominance in the open stance as a southpaw. An educated jab is the master's version of a great jab. A great lead hand is the PhD. From what I've seen, Gary has an educated jab. The way he's been running through his opponents, I haven't been able to tell if it's a great lead hand. However, combining an intelligent pressure with an educated jab is already incredibly tough to deal with for any opponent on any level. If you're subscribed to the channel and watch my videos, especially on Terrence Crawford, you know my fondness for the Open Stands 2-3. Highly effective. Whether it was something Gary saw for himself or a corner adjustment, somebody has a high boxing IQ, which is evident in the sequence which Gary lands the strike that was the beginning of the end.
The Kids a Problem, Gary Antoine Russell, Rising Star. Unfortunately, some networks don't allow their footage to be reused for analysis on YouTube, so it gets blocked. So everything that they block, I put on Patreon, along with all my other content. Become a patron and don't miss a thing from Boxing Jumps. Follow us damn near everywhere across social media platforms now. The links will be in the description. Thanks for watching.